worship you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, we worship you, God. We adore your holy name, O God. Magnify you, God. We exalt you, God. You're worthy of the glory, God, and the praise, O God. Thank you for this time, God. As we embrace you, O God, Holy Spirit, take control. Speak to us, O God. Encourage us, O God. Stir our hearts and our minds, God, to walk closer to you, God, than ever before. I thank you, Lord God. Things have been made brand new. Have your way in us, O God. Speak to us, O God. Be exalted. Be glorified and magnified. Lord, we love you. Lord, we worship you. We adore you. We have 10,000 tongues, O God. We could not praise you enough, God. We thank you right now for moving, God, in our homes, in our families. Lord, I thank you for a closer walk to know you like we've never known you before. I thank you, God, for enlightenment, O God. Thank you for revelation knowledge, O God. Thank you for greater conviction, Lord God, that you will bring us under rest of anything that's not pleasing in our sight. Lord, help us to walk worthy of the calling that you have called us unto. We give you glory, O God. We give you honor, God. We give you praise right now. We pray for this nation, O oh God. We pray for even the world, God. We pray for your mercy, God. Forgive us of our sins, O oh God, where we have sinned against you, O oh God. Forgive us where we've done others wrong, O oh God. We ask you right now to wash us through and through with your precious blood, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Lord, we worship you. We bless you, God. We thank you for a fresh fire falling upon us this day, O oh God. For this is indeed the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in O God. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. We thank you right now for your only begotten Son that you so lovely gave for us, O God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. Who came, who was crucified, and who died, O God, and rose from the dead with all power in his hands, O God, that we might have the right to the tree of life. We thank you, Lord, for not leaving us comfortless, but send the comfort of your Holy Spirit who dwells on the inside of us, O God. Breathe in us afresh, O God. Lead us, O God. Guide us. I order our steps right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you right now, God. We come against every principality, every power, every throne, every dominion that exalts itself against your word, O God, against the knowledge of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. For greater is you that is in us than he that is in the world. Be glorified, be exalted, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you right now for doing a new thing, O God. Open our eyes to see, open our ears to hear, God. We open our hearts to receive your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord God. Bless your name, O oh God. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Bishop Terrence Campbell of Global Life Changing Ministries International. Praise God. This is truly the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. I just want to encourage you, amen, this word the Lord dropped in my spirit. Amen. God wants you to know he loves you. He loves you so much. So many people are going through things and they're questioning, wondering why God is allowing things to happen. Amen. I believe, amen, there's a greater weight of glory that God is releasing upon his people. Amen. And some things God is allowing, amen, to get our attention, to turn our hearts to him. Glory to God, because we're so distracted by what's going on in this world. Amen. The Bible says to live is Christ, to die is gain, to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Glory to God. So we all have a purpose, saints of God. And God wants you to know in spite of what you're going through, he loves you. Amen. And God has purpose. Amen. Great plans for your life. Praise God. He just wants us to surrender to his will. So many times we're trying to do things on our own and we make it harder on ourselves. Glory to God. And there's people right now at the point of giving up, throwing in the towel, feel uh, the depression and heaviness and stress. They're tormented in the mind. Glory to God. They're overwhelmed in their hearts. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But you can have peace. Peace that only comes from God. Amen. Hallelujah. This world, the people's peace is superficial. Amen. God will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. Glory to God. As we get into this word, amen, we're going to look at Romans, amen, the fifth chapter, amen, the uh, uh, the eighth verse is our key verse, but God commanded his love towards us in that we, while we were yet sinners, 
Christ died for us. Glory to God. As we go, amen, and get into this, uh, the meat of the scripture, amen. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is an action word. Glory to God. So many times we tell people we love them, but we never show it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. People need to know, amen, that they are loved. Praise God. Amen. Any, everybody wants to be loved. Glory to God. No matter how uh, many times we've been hurt, we've been wounded, and there's people been hurt so bad, they have up a guard, they put up walls. Glory to God. To make people feel like they're tough. Glory to God. But behind those walls, they're begging and they're crying out for love. Glory to God. I want to tell you someone that will love you unconditionally, that loves you already, amen, because he knows the plans and the thoughts that he has for your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No matter what you're going through, amen, when you choose Christ as your Lord and your Savior, amen, the reason why I say choice, because God give us free will. Glory to God. God is not going to make anybody serve him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He allowed things to be set up in circumstances and situations to come about, amen, if we hit it in the wrong direction to try to sway us back, to turn our face back to him. But in the ultimate decision is our own. Glory to God. He loves you, saints of God. No matter what the devil tried to do, no matter what the devil's even doing now, God loves you so much. The word here says he gave his only begotten son, his son, Christ, while we were yet sinners, while we was living in sin. Glory to God. Even before we even came, we was already on the mind of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because he saw you. His love, get this, had a plan for you. Amen. And it even goes into even in depth in scripture that says God is love. Glory to God. He not only loves loves us, but he is love. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you this. You cannot give something that you don't possess, that you don't have yourself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He is love. He's the possessor of love. He is love. The author of love. Hallelujah. And he gave us his love. He showed his love. Amen. Because while we were yet sinners, his son, he gave his only begotten son, uh, John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear me. God gave his son to prove his love to us. Glory to God. And hear me. When someone show you love, glory to God, that love should be reciprocated. Amen. You should give love back. Glory to God. Love should never come just one way. It should be coming and going. Glory to God. That means if you receive it, you should give it. You should express. Amen. Just as much as the love that you've shown. Amen. Has been shown. Glory to God. You should be grateful. Hallelujah. Nobody wants to be in a relationship. Amen. Amen, where they doing all the giving. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You want to be able to give, but also to receive. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, saints of God, God loves us. He loves, He knows our past, He knows our present, He knows our future, He knows everything that we've done and everything we're doing right now. And saints of God, hear me as a man of God. Hear me, you're not going to live right if you don't love God. Hallelujah. Your fear of God, of, of uh, going to hell is not going to keep you safe. Your love for God will inspire you, glory to God, to live a holy and righteous life because you want to dwell in his presence. You want to be right where he is, glory to God. And hear me, this world, these men and these women, hear me, God knows what you're in need of, glory to God. But hear me, don't put all your eggs in one basket, glory to God. Hear me what I'm saying. If when the Bible said, whatsoever God has joined together, let no man put asunder. That love that God has put together with that man and wife is an unconditional love. It's bonded. They've been united by God. Hallelujah. They're united spiritually. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They are compatible. Glory to God. And so many times we're trying to make things work that are not ordained to work. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How can a man love you when he first don't love God? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because in order for him to truly love you, he must first love God so he know how to love you. Glory to God. And to be a godly man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. So many times, saints of God, people call on us to do certain things. Glory to God. But we do it out of obligation. Sometimes we do it out of uh, if there's anything in return that we can gain. Glory to God. Not because we truly love them. Glory to God. Even especially, glory to God, when somebody that we know that we don't like them and they don't like us, our enemy. Glory to God. We won't. We will go out of our way not to do good to them. Glory to God. But the Bible said, bless those that curse you. Hallelujah. He said, love your enemies. He said, I'm, I'm giving you a new co commandment. Yeah, I know in times past in the Old Testament, you know, he said that it was, uh, hey, you can hate your enemy. But he said, I'm giving you a new commandment. Love your enemies. Glory to God. Why? Because get this. When you truly love those that have done you wrong, it does something. Glory to that. Not only to, for them, but does something on the inside of you. Glory to that. It breaks the chains of bondage. Glory to God. There's so many people, saints of God, the enemy has oppressed them with disappointments and hurts and pains. Get this. And they wondering, where is the love of God? Why did God allow this to happen to me? Glory to God. Saints of God, hear me. You crying about what happened to you, but you still here. Glory Glory to God. And so hear me. I choose to take my lemons and make lemonade with it. Hear me. That means to take uh, 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 that bitter thing and make good come from it. Glory to God. To be able to benefit from it. And that's what God wants you to do. For Romans 8 and 28 says, For we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God and to those uh, who are called according to his purpose. Hear me. Everybody don't love God. There's people mad at God. There's people upset with God. But hear me. When you truly love God, you will trust God. Hallelujah. You will trust his heart. Glory to God. Even though you may not understand what God is doing, you know that he's working out something great for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just praise God. Hear me. That in spite of what I'm going through, God is still moving. God is still blessing. Hallelujah. God is still putting food on the table. God is still paying bills. God is still giving us shelter over our head. Glory to God. We still see miracles, signs, and wonders happen. Hallelujah. Everyone hear me. God has called you to be a light. Hallelujah. And how do God want you to be a light? It's through his love. He wants us to exemplify his love. But how can you exemplify something that you have never experienced? Hallelujah. You got to be aware of it. You got to be, hallelujah, conscious of God's love each and every day. God allowed us to wake up and see a brand new day, which no man has seen before, to give us another opportunity, saints of God, to get a house in order, amen, that we may live a life pleasing to God, to tell someone, amen, of the goodness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. God wants you to be a witness, glory to God. He didn't call you to be a secondhand information person, amen, that you heard about him. He wants you to know him personally. Glory to God. Why? Because a witness has irrefutable, amen, evidence and proof of what has happened or what has transpired. They were there. They had an eyewitness account. Glory to God. And God wants to make us a witness greater than ever. Glory to God. Why? Because people need to know that our God is not dead. He is yet alive. Glory to God. And everything we see that's transpiring in the world, saints of God. The enemy is trying to push racism. The enemy is trying to push hate. Glory to God. What the world needs now is love. Glory to God. Hear me, saints of God. Hear me what I'm saying. Glory to God. And some people may ask me, what does love has to do with? It? Love has to do everything with this. Glory to God. Because, get this, they will know that we are Christians by our love for one another. It's not about a color. It's not about a race. Come on. Not about a denomination. Come on here. It's about love, glory to God, loving each other, glory to God. This is what the world needs. The enemy breeds hate, confusion, division, envy, strife, racism. Come on here, glory to God. But God has called us, amen, to be a light bearer, glory to God, in this world of darkness, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. And Jesus is the light of the world, and he wants you, amen, to allow him to shine through you, glory to God. He wants to use you like never before. Glory to God. And I don't understand this, how many of us even go to church, but we have all against our brother, all against our sister, and we still trying to get up in the church and use our gift. The Bible said this, glory to God. If you have all against your brother, you put your gifts on the altar and go to your brother or your sister and get it right. Hallelujah. Because when you try to operate in a spirit of hate or unforgiveness, saints of God, the enemy 
enemy has fight for you. The enemy has you in prison. Glory to God. Now the Bible said, whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. He has set us free by his love. And so we are to walk in his love. Amen. His love liberates us. His love sets us free. His love gives us empowerment and strength and encouragement to do supernatural feats. Glory to God. Why? Because many times, get this, through the hardest times in our lives, get this, his love compelled us to trust him. His love inspired us, glory to God, to keep on holding on, to keep on believing, to keep having faith, glory to God, no matter what you're going through. I don't care if there's sickness in your body, God loves you, and hear me, by his stripes, you are healed. I command the pain to go, I command the sickness to go, in the mighty name of Jesus. God is right there, right where you are. He's Emmanuel, God with us. I'm not present everywhere at the same time. Glory to God. And I believe that God is working a miracle. God is saving your family. Hear me. Stop holding on to what has happened on yesteryear, yesterday. Glory to God. Today is a new day. Walk in the newness of this day. Walk in the joy of the Lord. Walk in the strength of the Lord. Walk in the love of God. His love is favor. His love is peace. His love is glory to God. It's everything. Everything. His love is strength to you. Whatever you need God to be, God is that and more. Glory to God. Stop dying in that dead situation. It's time for you to raise up. It's time for you to rise up in the power, in the love of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, get this. It's a greater sacrifice. Hallelujah. Sometimes God allows us to hurt, to suffer, to go through, glory to God, to be talked about, whether by family, by close friends, glory to God, to be ostracized, to be criticized. But get this, he said, I never leave you. God will allow you to go through this, to hold your hand, to carry you through it. Get this, to bring about character, to develop character and cause you to be a man, a woman of God, of integrity, glory to God. Because get this, the Bible said, faithful are the wounds of a friend, your friends, your loved ones, people close to you are going to hurt you, but they still family. Y'all still family. You still got the same blood. Glory to God. So you got to let it go. Hallelujah. Hear me, saints of God. Love wants to push you into your purpose. Love want to push you into your destiny. Glory to God. Why? Because you're greater than you greater, greater than you can ever imagine in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Love will cause you to see things in a different light. Love will cause you to be a better person. Love will cause you to walk Get this, when people have done you wrong, you will forgive them, you will pray for them, you will bless them. Come on here. Love will cause you to give your last, glory to God. Love will cause you to sacrifice. Love will cause you to hurt. Amen. To bear others, glory to God. To hold up others. Why? Because God love is strength. God love is strong. Come on here. God love is power. Glory to God. God love is healing. God love is deliverance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God wants us to walk in this love. I want to tell you a story before I close. Glory to God. There's a story about this uh, homeless man that was preaching on the streets and he had on regular clothes and people was talking about him and people was making fun of him. Glory to God. But he kept on preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then one day it was cold, ice cold, and it got below freezing. Glory to God. And this other homeless man was laying on the ground, didn't have any cover. And this homeless man that was preaching the gospel, he laid up on top of him. Glory to God. And sacrificed his life. He froze the dead to spare, get this, to warm the other uh, homeless man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everyone hear me. Glory to God. Sometimes we don't realize the price or the suffering of other people, but in the eyes of God, great is their sacrifice. That was a great act of love. The Bible said, no greater love than this, than a man will lay down his life for a friend. Glory to God. And Jesus, glory to God, who is God, the Son of God, gave us, get this, the greatest act of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While we was in sin, while we was messing around, while we was fornicating, adulterating, come on here. He knew everything about us. He knows where we are right now, and he knows our future. And saints of God, when we choose him to be our Lord, because he, he can't be your Savior without being your Lord. Hallelujah. You got to surrender yourself. Come in submission of that love. Glory to God. Because that love will bring about 
Get this peaceable fruits of righteousness. Hallelujah. That's pleasing to God. Hallelujah. Come on. We are sacrifice. We are give ourselves as living sacrifices unto God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. People need what you got. Now is not the time to be quiet. Everyone hear me. Love will not be, get this, make you ashamed. Hallelujah. Love will make you bold. Why? Love will make you stand in defense. Hallelujah. Get this. Because in this day and time, there's so many people that go to church, but they quiet. They don't want to cry loud and spare not and tell the people, get this, that the Lord is soon to come any moment. Glory to God. God wants us to be on our post. Hallelujah. Hear me, saints of God. He just don't want you to have the title of the position, but he wants you to fulfill the call of the position. If we're men and women of God, get this, we should be witnesses more than ever, opening our mouths and telling people about the coming of the Lord. He shall come as a thief in the night. Glory to God. And hear me, saints of God, don't let your lamp go out. Don't let your lamp go out. Don't be a mocker. Don't be a scoffer. Saying they've been saying that, but, but he's been coming for years. But saints of God, we're living in a day in time. Did this as it never been. Glory to God. Everything, the stage is already set for the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So if there's sin in your life, get it out. The Bible said a little leaven, leaven it the whole lump. Glory to God. Get this. If you put a little something in bread, it's in the whole loaf. Glory to God. So we got to purify our hearts. The Lord said this to me. He said, tell the people to mortify the deeds of the body. That means to sanctify themselves, separate themselves from this world. Get this, because the more we are attached to this world, get this, that means the more you love the world. Glory to God. But you cannot love the world and love God. You either going to hate one and love the other. Come on here. And I'd rather live for God. Hallelujah. Any other day, because get this, this life is going to pass away, but we're going to have to answer in the afterlife. Glory to God. The Bible said this, that this life is just as a vapor. Glory to God. Here and gone. God, before you even blink, it's gone. Hallelujah. And so many of us, get this, living as if we're going to live forever down here. But saints of God, the Bible said we're pilgrim passing through. Hallelujah. This is not my home. This is not your home. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When I finish my work, I want to hear the Lord say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. Now enter into the joy of the Lord. I don't want to be like the ones he said depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. I never knew you. They going to come before him and say, Lord, didn't I prophesy in your name? Didn't I preach in your name? Didn't I minister to the poor in your name? Didn't I do this in your name? And the Lord going to say, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. There was something in their heart. Get this. Their intentions weren't for God. There was intentions for themselves. That means they operated in the gift, but never dedicated themselves to live holy and godly and pleasing to God. Saints of God, I beseech you by the mercies of God today that you will commit yourself, commit your life to God. Hallelujah. And not allow sin to envelop and hear me, to hold you hostage any longer. Hear me. The devil cannot hold you against your will. If you want to be free, you can be set free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It, if it's drugs, if it's alcohol, sexual perversion, if it's lying, stealing, cheating, if you've been robbing God of the tithes and the offering, saints of God, it's time for us to come in order with the will of God for our lives and the word of God. Hallelujah. Because we love him. Because he first loved us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got so many people, saints of God, they need love. They've been broken. Hallelujah. By church folk. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They've been let down by someone close to them. They may have been without a father. They may have been without a mother. But God wants you to exemplify his love, show his love. Glory to his unconditional love. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's love is never failing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he wants you to know that I got your back. Hallelujah. In spite of what you're feeling right now, I come against every assignment of the enemy against your life. I come against a lot, every lie the enemy has told you. Every way the enemy has tried to make you feel and believe that God does not care and that God is not with you and that God does not love you. Hear me. God loves you with an everlasting love. He loved you so much that he gave the ultimate sacrifice. His only begotten son. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who ever heard of a God dying for his people? Glory to God. But I'm so glad that our God is not dead. He's yet alive. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because Jesus paid a debt that he didn't know, but he paid a debt we could not pay. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Saints of God, let's examine ourselves today. Hallelujah. If we really love God, why aren't we following him? Why aren't we doing what he's called us to do? Why aren't we being who he called us to be? Glory to God. I made up in my mind. If I die, let me die in the army of the Lord. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because it's the power of God into salvation. Hallelujah. See, the devil wants you to think that you got to have money and got to have this and that to be happy. Saints of God. Without God, we're nothing. Without God, we're poor. Without God, we're wretched. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I just, I'm not just going to pick him up when I need him. I'm going to abide with him because I want him. Hallelujah. Because I love him so much. He means everything to me. I love my wife. I love my children. I love God's people. I love you all, saints of God. Hallelujah. But I love God more than anything. Hallelujah. I trade this whole life, as the song said, for one day in paradise. Hallelujah. But saints of God, it's not just going to be one day. Up there, there's no sickness. Up there, there's no diseases. Up there, there's no, no, no robbing, no stealing, no violence. Glory to God. Every day is Sunday. Hallelujah. There's peace unspeakable, unimaginable. Hallelujah. And the love of God just flowing. And get this, God is the light thereof. No need for no sun. No issue in sun. Because the S-O-N, son, he's the light of heaven. Hallelujah. And God wants you to know, saints of God, he has not forgotten about you. Hallelujah. But God wants commitment from us. Hallelujah. It's easy Sunday after Sunday we can go down to the altar and commit our lives to him. But then Monday we forget the commitment we made to God. Hallelujah. Let us read our word. Study the word. Pray and give ourselves to God fast. Hallelujah. To not deny the flesh. Amen. So we can walk as men and women of God of integrity and honor. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you want God to restore your family, first of all, give yourself to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Commit yourself to God. If you're doing anything pleasing that's not pleasing to God, stop it. Let it go. Commit your life to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hear me. It's worth the commitment. Glory to God. It's worth commitment because so many times, get this, we want to pray for God to get other people's lives in order, but we need to get in order first. Hallelujah. When we pray, honestly, we go to God, Lord, I'm praying for my brother, my sister, for them to get, get right. God asks us the first question. He deals with us first to make sure, are you right? Get your house in order. Get yourself right. Hallelujah. He sees us. And he wants us. And then by us living right, get this, he'll save our whole house. He'll transform our lives. Saints of God, there's a peace that I'm walking in today. A joy that I just love my God. Come on, just lift your hands right where you are. He's right there. Glory to God. Embrace him. Let go of the heaviness. Let go of the disappointments. Hallelujah. Let go of the stress, the worry, the fear. Hallelujah. And the Bible said this perfect love casts out fear. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you made perfect in love, fear has no place. Glory to God. No insecurities. Hallelujah. But gives you peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we just praise you today. I thank you for touching your people. I thank you that they will see your love and feel your love and experience your love in a mighty way today. We thank you for you are love, oh God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for touching right now. I come against every assignment against your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you right now that your love stirs in our heart and the fresh fire, God, a greater passion, God, for ministry to be a living example, a living pistol of your word, God. Have your way in us, oh God. Forgive us where we sinned against you. Forgive us where we denied you. Forgive us where we fell short of your glory. Lord, let your love flow through us now as we commit ourselves to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, saints of God, hallelujah, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Those that have fallen by the wayside, those who have turned their backs on God, today is a good day. To now is a good time to come back to him. Glory to God. Father, I pray for those who have been wayward, who have fallen by the wayside. Glory to God, who have listened to the tricks and the lies of the enemy. I thank you for truth has now come, hallelujah, that you love them and that you are with them, that you have forgiven them, God. As they turn their hearts to you, I thank you for turning their situation around. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, 
Lord, be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be exalted. Hallelujah. Get this. You may say that I've done so many things. God can't save me. Hear me. Glory to God. The Bible said David was an adulterer and a murderer. He slept with Bathsheba, who was married to Uriah. And then to cover his sin of adultery, because he impregnated Bathsheba, he put Uriah on the front line and then he had the troops to draw back and Uriah was killed. And then years later, well, as, as things progressed, David was in his place and God sends the prophet Nathan, glory to God, to deal with David. He said, David, he said, he said, I want to tell you a story. He said, there was a story where this rich man had all these great sheep. And then this one man, he had this one sheep. And the rich man killed him and took that one sheep. He said, what should be done to that, that rich man? He said, he should be killed. He said, David, you are that man. Hear me, saints of God. Regardless of what you've done, we all, none of us are perfect. Glory to God. But God's love is perfect. And we should ask God to forgive us and to cleanse us from all sin and unrighteousness. Glory to God. No sin is justifiable. Glory to God. In the eyes of God. Sin is sin. Glory to God. And get this. The Lord said that the, the Lord tells David this. Should I put you in my hand? He said, He said, Man is cruel. Nature is hard. He said, But God, you're merciful. And God tells him, He said, the baby would not live. David fasted three days and nights without eating when the baby was born. And the baby died. The servant comes to, to David's uh, chamber and knocks on the door and, and, and open the door. And David asked the question. He said, is the baby alive? Is the baby dead? And the servant said, the baby's dead. And David gets up on his feet. And the servants watch him and David began to wash his face. And they thought that something was wrong with David, that David had lost his mind, that he was delusional. But David said this. He said, I cannot bring him back. But if I live right, oh, glory to God, I shall see him again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's some things we can't bring back. There's people that we can't bring back. But if we know that they made it to the other side, if we live right, we'll see them again on the other side. Hallelujah. Heaven is for real and hell is for real. Hear me. Hell is full of believers. Heaven is full of believers. Hell is full of believers, but it's too late. Glory to God. Hallelujah. A lot of people down there because they said, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. But when they saw the reality of hell, they wished that they had obeyed God. Saints of God, the day you hear God's voice, harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. There's so many people that's dying and God needs you. They need the love of God. Hallelujah. Shown through you. And this is where us as leaders and God's people have to get ourselves out the way. Stop doing it when it's convenient. Stop doing it for recognition. Do it because we love God. Do it because we love souls. We want souls to be saved. Hallelujah. If you really save, you should be compelling other men to get their house in order with God. To come unto God. To come unto Jesus Christ. To choose him as their Lord and their Savior. Glory to God. It's not about just going down and sitting in the chair. Glory to God. That's just the first step. Then we must use pro progressional sanctification. Praying, studying, and fasting. And spending time with God to become more like Him. The closer we get to Him, the clearer His voice will come. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Saints of God, I love you. I pray that something was said today that would stir your hearts and your minds, that you would just go head over heels for your God. He loves you with an everlasting love. Thank you, Lord, for loving us in spite of our conditions. He looked beyond our fault and saw our very need. And I close as I say this. It wasn't the nails that held him on the cross. It was love that kept him on the cross. He saw you and he saw me. What a mighty God we serve. God bless you and keep you as I pray. Have a blessed day, saints of God. And I want you just to ponder on the love of God. Get into the word of God and read his word and read his scriptures like never before. Let it change your life. God bless you and keep you as I pray. Amen.